on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. I hammered this for three years, and Ted Cruz and Rand Paul went and looked into it. Did discover that we were acting as Al-Qaeda's Air Force in Syria and Libya, and said no more. It's admitted Libya is totally trashed now under al-Qaeda control. Women are wearing burqas, being sexually mutilated. Uh, the West isn't really fighting the Somali al-Qaeda folks. They're only fighting one group of them. They're letting them uh, take over Kenya. And Obama's cousin, Odinga, is bringing them in. And the Kenyans' answer is, we're just going to arm our general public. And then Obama tries to get involved saying, no, 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 don't arm the Kenyans. See, the head of Interpol says, no, it's time to arm the public against Muslim radicals. And our government says, no, no, at the U.N. Even Interpol wants to arm people. See, there are good people in the system, folks. And let me tell you, it's scary when you're in a shopping mall and they come kill 65 people. Women and children get them down on the ground and say, are you a Muslim? No, boom, you're dead. <sighs> so, I'm going to explain this. Al-Qaeda and the caliphate is a secret army of Saudi Arabia. And now they think we're so stupid, it's hidden in plain view. Here's the Belfast Telegraph, mainstream newspaper. Iraq crisis, Sunni caliphate has been bankrolled by Saudi Arabia. Bush and Blair said Iraq was a war on Islamic fascism. They lost. <coughs> no, see, no one is, you know, people can get part of it, they don't get it all. It's so obvious, but so over the top. No, I'm going to explain this again. It's on Wikipedia with links to the British uh, you know, Army Museum. This is not debated. This is mainline history if you study Middle Eastern history in the 20th century. In 1901, the British Empire openly funded Saudi Arabia to try to push out the Turks. And what was left of the Ottomans. By the 1930s, you had Saudi Arabia founded and it had even taken over other countries. Okay? Boom. That's all this is. Period. And they're going to use Iraq as a base to attack Europe and everybody else. And then our criminal leaders are going to use the Al-Qaeda attacks to take us over. That's the deal. You attack us. We then will let you take over. When they flew 40,000 of them out in the airlift of evil... CBS News, Times of London, and paid them in gold bars. When they did that, it was to destabilize Pakistan. I have had Major General Hamid Ghul on that will not talk to anyone else in the West. In fact, it's time to get Ghul on ASAP. And he said, my analysis is 100% correct. Former head of Pakistani intelligence. He ran al-Qaeda against the Russians. He said, absolutely, it now works for the West. And absolutely, they're taking all these countries down and they're destabilizing Pakistan. So you hear, oh, we're bombing to fight Al-Qaeda in Pakistan. No, that's any of their enemies. Secular, Wahhabist, Shiite, they don't care. You just hear, oh, another drone strike. They have headlines like, we don't care who we kill. We don't even know who we're killing. It's just meant to destabilize the countries. In fact, when there's drone strikes, it destabilizes the secular government of Pakistan as the radicals aren't sophisticated enough, just like Americans, to go, wait a minute, you know, you're, the radicals work for the globalists. No, 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 they're following the radicals who then say, we need to overthrow this government. The Pakistanis work with the Americans while they drone attack us. See, to drive them into the arms of Al-Qaeda. Do you understand this is cloak and dagger stuff, folks? British Special Forces caught dressed as Arab terrorists. Remember the BBC reported on that? Staging terror attacks, posing as Sunnis to attack Shiites to get a civil war going. Okay? Just like they're funding Nazis to overthrow Ukraine in a proxy war. And then when the Russians respond, they want a war with Russia. See, it's proxy war. It's World War III, people. And they're turning Al-Qaeda loose 
worldwide, and it's hiding in plain view. Saudi Arabia is surrounded by jihadists now. That's up on InfoWars.com and DrudgeReport.com. Oil prices are soaring right now. There's an exodus of 800,000 refugees, the UN says. Christians are on the run in Iraq. Medieval Sharia law imposed. Christians are being lined up and shot in the back of the head. There's video of this. They are flying the flags of Al-Qaeda, Saudi Arabia, and the Iraq, quote, caliphate. These are Wahhabists. And they are in brand new SUV, Mercedes, and Toyotas with heavy rockets and machine guns and rocket launchers. And you can look at the photos and the video. It, 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 they are chanting bin Laden. And they were funded in the West and given bases to attack Syria. And the media thinks you're so dumb, the general public, that you can't find it on a map. That you don't know the difference between a Shiite and a Sunni. And this is it, folks. I mean, it is on. In fact, mainstream media is allowed to show it. Every time we show beheadings or people being killed, you know, they'll try to knock us off YouTube and stuff. And I reach tens of millions every week on that. But you can go see the videos for yourself. I'm going to do a special report after the radio today. It'll be on the nightly news. And I am sick to my stomach right now. The globalists are creating a worldwide crisis to play governments off against each other. There are no more nations. There are no more countries in their view. They're dissolving the last vestiges of it. They're getting rid of our health care system. They've been the best in the world. They're bringing in death care on record. What you see at the VA with the death list, the secret death list, now confirmed. Evil is unlimited when we have no standards. It's because no one has been held accountable for Fast and Furious, Benghazi, Solyndra, all these criminal wars lying to go into Iraq when it was Saudi Arabia that they said attacked us. And then we go attack the arch enemy of Saudi Arabia at the time, even above Iran, was Saddam Hussein, who had been a CIA officer in 58, trained as an army captain, committed assassinations in Iraq, overthrew the government, was made president in 1979. This is all on record. Was given $40 billion to attack the Iranians. Was told to invade Kuwait by the CIA. They said, yo, you're our proxy army, you invade to pay us the money back. When he invaded... They went on the news, called him Sodom, which means Sodom and Gomorrah. All the Arabs heard that. All the, all the Muslims heard that as he was calling him a Sodomite. Our president was calling him, you know, you know, anal sex Saddam. I mean, that's what it translates to. You know, infidel Saddam. And so they destroy that country, kill over a million Iraqis. And then now the final plan, go back in 2003, wreck the whole place, bring in Monsanto, 5 million Iraqis have left the country, over a million dead. <sighs> this is incredible. We're going to shift gears into something we can do something about here in a moment. But the public's total ignorance of this, and now the country, Baghdad falling, the government falling. Because it's full of globalist appointed people who've been paid off with the $80 billion in $100 bills that have been flown in there. They're all being told, stand down and leave. Just like the Vichy French stood down for Hitler. 90 plus percent, some estimates are, of the general staff stood down and became the new leaders of France. See, no one knows history, so they're doomed to repeat it. This is an internal takedown operation. How do you think the globalists took over America? They took it over by paying off the politicians and putting their people in over the last 50 years. Same thing. That's why they're so hard to beat, folks. The Federal Reserve isn't federal. It's the IMF and the World Bank. We've had their own insiders like John Perkins come on, the economic hitman. And if he couldn't bring them down, they sent in hit teams to kill people. Hit teams to kill leaders that don't take the payoff. You will have a carpet of gold or a carpet of bombs. They are turning the whole Middle East and Africa over to Al-Qaeda now to murder Christians in mass. The UN admits it. 300,000 dead, 200,000 of them Christians in the oldest Christian community after Israel in the world. That is Syria. You think it's bad to arm al-Qaeda to attack and kill Christians in Syria? Folks, they're killing every Christian they find. That's in mainstream news today. And I don't care if it's a Muslim they kill or a Christian. It's just that our government is funding people and giving them weapons. 
Those weapons are U.S., NATO, Saudi Arabian, Qatari, French, and British. And I'll bet money there's British special forces and Saudi Arabian special forces. I've got mainstream articles right here from 2006 where they caught British intelligence dressed up like Al-Qaeda killing Shiites. Remember that in Basra? Folks, put, a, put it up on screen for them. We can pull that article up. You just type in M, uh, British commandos you know, uh, uh, freed from jail. They sent tanks into the jail to get them back from the Iraqi army. British commandos caught dressed up like Arabs. I've got it right here. British special forces caught dressed up as Arab terrorists. See, it's the same story, folks. They had Saudi Arabia already take over half the Middle East, 1901 to 1931. Now they're going to take everything over and most of Africa. They're the secret army. Everybody knows the CIA founded the modern Al-Qaeda. Folks, it's beyond that, okay? Now, for the balance of the hour, we're very honored to have him. We're also going to get an interview with him. He's got the time for the nightly news while he's here. <clears throat> I read his book a few weeks ago when I was on vacation. My dad, who's a oral surgeon, but also had a background in chemistry and worked.